here is Chapman Kolmogorov equation. Uh, if you see, I have certain probabilities defined here. The first of it says the probability of going from state i to j in n time steps. That is, when you're going from state i to state j, you take n time units to travel from i to j. So when you see this part, when you're writing x naught stands for zero time unit. This naught represents the zero time unit, and this n, if you see here, this n represents n time units. So you're beginning at time point zero and you're moving on to time point n. Now, what are these i's and j's that are given here? The uh, I, no, no, j is not equal to i plus n to the n. It's actually different. Uh, zero to n. Now see, when you say zero, I mean you're just beginning. When I say one, that means one time unit. It can be one minute, one hour, as to whatever your time intervals are defined to be. So you say zero, one, two, three, four, up to n time units. And what are i and j? At these time units, what is the value that your state space is taking? Suppose, taking the example of no claim discount only, I said, in the first year, everybody is entitled for 0% discount. For the second year, if you do not make a claim, that is, you are conditioning. If you are not making a claim in the first year, second year, you are entitled for a 25% discount. So, when you see here, 0, at time 0, you are in state I. Your I here means 0% discount. Now, if I say next year, if you have not made a claim, your N will be equal to 1, because one time unit you have crossed. And J equal, equal to 25%. Because you haven't made any claim in the past year, you are entitled for a 25% discount. So your state in the second year will be 25%. So J is equal to 25% then. Is it clear now? The concept of I, J, 0. All right. <clears throat> Now, I've talked about n steps. Simplifying it, one step would be what? The single step transition, that is moving from state i to state j in one time unit, is what we call the single step probability. Now, what do we mean by time homogeneous Markov chain? Time homogeneous means the process will be same, the outcomes will be same, if the difference in the time units is same. Now suppose I say at time k I'm in state i and if you see here at time k I'm in state i and at time n plus k I'm in state j. If I say that now the difference here is what? n time units. If you see from k to n plus k the difference is uh, n time units. Now if I say that at time l I was in state J, XL is equal to J, and at time say M, or should I say um, N plus L, exactly it should be, N plus L, I am in state I. Here also the difference is of N time units only, if you see, from K to N plus K, the difference is of N time units. From L to N plus L, again, there is a difference of N time units only. Therefore, the probability of both will be same. So, when the probability just depends on the difference in the time units, then we call it time homogeneous. Is it okay? The concept of homogeneity. Now, what we are defining here is the chapman kolmogorov equation. What it states is that suppose um, I'm considering a time length of 0 to n. Now, in that 0 to n unit, suppose there is a time interval. If you see, I'm just plotting a line here. It will be more clear for you to understand then. Suppose this is 0 to n, and there is some time point in between, say k. At time 0, I am in state I. At time N, I am in state J. I am in the middle, at time point K. My state is 
R. So, what Chapman Colmo group equation says is the probability of moving from state I to J in n time units is equal to summation of all the states that would come in between 0 to n at any time k which is less than n units. As you see here, I can write probability of I equal to uh, probability of moving from I to J in time n units is what? Tik, sorry, Tir from 0 to k into Trj from k to n. So I can write it as a product. Now suppose if I say there is another time unit, say A in between. Again, I can break the probability from here to here and then from here to here. Similarly, for another time point, I can break the probabilities. Thus, this breakages, the sum of all these breakages is what we are referring to as the Chapman-Kolmogorov equation.